This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. In this video, we will be learning about the four different types of swellings that can occur in hamsters, which are abscess, hematoma, cyst, and tumor. First, let's look at what an abscess is. An abscess is just a collection of pus that is characterized by tenderness. An abscess can sometimes seem like a hematoma, but we will look into that later. So what is a hematoma? A hematoma is a swelling filled with blood, which is why it is reddish in color, as can be seen in the picture shown. Now, let's find out how we can differentiate between an abscess and a hematoma. So although abscesses are usually soft to the touch, they can be hard due to the presence of fatty tissue in them, making it difficult to tell if the swelling is actually an abscess or a hematoma. So in situations like this, a lancing or surgical cut of the swelling is done. If pus comes out, it is an abscess, and if blood comes out, it is a hematoma. So moving on to cysts, a cyst contains fluid, air, or other substances, and is usually non-cancerous. A tumour, on the other hand, is a mass of tissue which can be either cancerous or non-cancerous. To know how to differentiate between a cyst and a tumour, a cyst is usually tender while a tumour is usually firm. Now that we know the basics of what an abscess, a hematoma, a cyst and a tumour are, let's look at a case of a hamster with a hematoma that was treated at Topio Vets. So this is the hamster during consultation and as you can see, the big lump it has is actually a hematoma. And the hematoma is located on the left thigh. The hamster was hospitalized and the hematoma actually partially ruptured by itself, causing some blood to flow out. So due to this, the hematoma became an infected hematoma and needed to be cleaned daily with chlorhexidine, which is a disinfectant and antiseptic. If the hematoma doesn't rupture by itself, a lens and drain procedure is carried out, while the hamster is under anesthetic. So in conclusion, this hamster went home with its owner and continued medication at home. For more information, please visit topiovets.com. Thank you for watching.